Boom. Nine. Hop from the back. Push, pull, control. So now we're gonna do one of my favorite throws ever. It's illegal in judo and most jiu-jitsu competition, but if you do it the way I show you, it's totally safe to do in practice and competition where it's legal. It's a Kani Basami, the scissor takedown. Let's check it out. So the Kani Basami is a fabulous throw and it works like this. Boom, and you're down here, you can go straight for the heel hook or whatever you like. It's got a bad rap because many people do it completely wrong. So, look, the way I do it most of the time is grabbing the collar. I got one foot of his exposed, right? And the more I get him to pull backwards, the easier it will be. And what we do now first is to just come close, come close, insert our leg right like this, right? Pop, insert, insert, grab the far side thigh with my foot. Now I place my foot on the floor and I bring my hip behind his knee, okay? And now my second leg, my right one, will scissor his right leg from behind. Hop, like so. And I've got his leg completely exposed to go for a heel hook or whatever is legal in the tournament system that you do. Even just like, go for position. Very important. It, it has some danger for his knee. But uh, mostly if I do this, just a ding. So that's the danger of it, to attack the leg either from the front by sitting on it, or as it happened in judo many times before it was banned, to just jump in sideways and bring the full weight of your, of your whole body sideways on the knee and make it collapse. What we want to do instead is more like a, like a sweep that starts from a standing position, right? So I want to have his collar and uh, I've recently seen a video to do it from the overhook and uh, it's, that's a bit unsafe for me so I will not do it from the overhook because as he's pushing me forward here very likely it increases my risk of falling on his knee and injuring him. So I will only do it if I got free movement here. He can grab me with his collar or whatever with his hand, whatever, doesn't matter. Hop, push, pull. Control, now step in and hook. And still I can change to any other thing, but now I want to bring my weight behind his knee and then attack his leg from the back. So hop, ha, hop, and he's down. It's so important, it's so important, I'm gonna put emphasis on it again, to refuse to push from the front or side, to only pull him back and then scissor his leg from the back. Top, up. If you do it like this, completely safe. Safe and sound, hop, boom. Just make him fall. So there's no, there's no weight of me on his knee. I just scissor his leg off the floor. Hush! Like so. Up and fall. Nothing else. That leg, let me show you again. So my, my first leg kind of blocks this leg of stepping away. Now my second leg just blocks his knee from stepping away again. So I just insert my leg, block. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's already fallen. So it's just a uh, hop, boom. And now I just pull him backwards, straight back, no danger for the knee, and go, boom again. So, it's Kani Masami, but again, as there have been um, way too many injuries with it, I want to make sure, if you practice it, practice it under professional supervision, and always make safety your first priority when, when practicing anything, of course, but especially when practicing a, practi practicing a deceivingly dangerous throw like the Kani Basami. Last time I'm gonna show it to you, how uh, hop, boom, and down. That's the Kani Basami, absolutely fabulous throw. 
Just make sure to practice it with the main focus on safety and you will totally fall in love with it. So see you next time.